how to transplant a curry plant and make it even fuller this is my old curry plant and in winter the i left it out and the upper side died so i am going and plus my uh, bucket this is my bucket it broke so today i'm going to transplant it in a separate uh, in a different bucket again and i will show you how to make it even thinner and more thicker in leaves than just one like one one only one or two branches like that you can make it thicker and more stronger even more branches from the other side i will show you how to do that so uh, first of all i will cut the upper branch over here so that i can get a good growth and if you want your curry plant to be not just one or two branches you should prune it properly in springtime because springtime gives it a lot of long time of rain and gets before it's uh, winter time it gets lots of leaves on the sides so this is i'm going to cut and and how will the growth start the growth will start from the sides like these you see these smalls this will grow and make a new branch on the side just like that if you see there's another branch coming out over here from the side this stem did not die only the upper part so i will separate this one and change my back bucket for that i have taken a separate bucket bucket over here this is multi purpose bucket it's easy to take care of and strong enough to hold for few years and if you're growing it in a container it's easy to uh, you know change them and transplant them if you think that your plants is getting bigger for that i made few holes in there on the bottom I took white color because uh, I found that white color stays for longer period and other colors gets ruined with the sun. Okay, let me show you how it's done properly. For that uh, to fill it up with the different uh, soil mixture, I am taking this uh, organic potting mix. You can use it for lots of your veggies and everything. And I'm going to use this one today now I have filled half of the bucket with the soil potting mix and you see these ones I will not thin them out I already did some of them it was very thick over here with the new plant growth here on the sides the root keeps growing on the curry plant so I make new plants with these so I do I will not th throw more and so then uh, next year I will have more plants ready for the curry plants some of them I have thinned out took them out and planted in a separate uh, container I will show you now I separated the small uh, roots from the side and these are the new uh, like four days old plants I did the same thing with this one this one is uh, one year old see how tall it has become I will show another one uh, in this video how I'm going to transplant it's very easy to do and last year I transplanted lots of new plants new curry leaf plants with the same plant I have and uh, you can do the same if you have one you need to have only one curry plant and you can make lots and lots of new plants from just one plant
can see how big the root has grown here this is around eight to nine year old this is this has been in like around eight years in the same bucket i will thin some uh, roots out so that i can have some space for the new bucket I will cut extra roots from the side and but I will keep these I have thinned some out and I will make a new uh, I will put plant them in a separate container then they will grow as a new tree Now I will uh, fill the bucket on the side with the with more uh, soil. Just making sure that we don't have any unnecessary root on the sides. Remove all unnecessary roots. This is unnecessary. You can see this will only fill the space. In order to uh, grow in a next container, try to remove at least f more than 50% of the roots. If you have a strong uh, an open space uh, or strong roots, then it can grow back again. Now I'm going to fill it from the sides with the uh, rest of the potty mix. This very plant, this is the same plant which my very good plant which survived my winter uh, around minus 20 degree. It was very very cold, too much snow, a lot of damages but and I left this plant in the garage but only thing I did was that I had pruned this plant. The, there there was no not a single leaf on the branches and that's how it survived the minus degrees of my winter i'm gonna cut this piece too because i feel this is dead and i want some little bit thicker over here and the new growth is coming out from the side so i will keep that and remove the bigger one bigger uh thick uh, branch here Now this plant is done, we will just need to water it, water it every day on a timely basis, at least once every day in hot summer days for sure, so that you guys can, you guys can get enough time for the plant to grow back. 
and now I am going to show you these sides these are the extra roots which can grow as a new plant you can see so I'm gonna take this very small one and plant it in here You can use any uh, wire and bend it down to make an anchor for the for the so that it can support the plant. And if you think that you're gonna uh, you your plants are falling out, as long then as long as you tie them with it as for a support, you can stay on one place and grow as a big. Uh, this root is very long, so I'm gonna make it short even. And these are you can make a new plant with these even these ones. Now I'm taking this one and I'm going to prune it so that I can have a thicker growth and new new branches from the sides. So I am going to cut all the, you know, I'm going to cut uh, this one on the side, remove all the leaves. I will keep this one uh, on the side remove this this branch if you leave the top one then it will not uh, give you a new growth from the sides so always cut the top part so that it can have option open to to get a new branches get new branches from the sides this one i had already pruned once last year when i did after i uh, got a good it got support of its root after I planted it and then in the fall I removed other side so that I can get it uh, two three new branches otherwise it was it had only one branch now it has one two the top one and third and fourth so I want to have more branches so I'm cutting this top piece So I may I pruned it all of it and I will show you in few days uh, how the growth went of my new plant. I'm putting these in a small container, it's very small one, the seedling pots. I do not want to throw them in the trash, so I'm just putting them so that they can get grow as a new plant and if anybody needs it, can get it. I already planted uh, some of them a little bit uh, bigger pot, like this size. But these are my extra ones and I can just make a new plant small ones if anybody can have it they can have it so 
so water them on the time and then you can have all of them growing as a new tree of yours and use the leaves in your food and cooking and make a new dishes You can see it's growing from here now and I see the new growth is coming out from the bottom over here too you see this one coming out over here means uh, the root has been settled now it's been uh, around a week or so so you can see new growth is coming out from the bottom and I will show you the one I totally cut the plants and you see this one new growth has come over here from this side and two over here two of them two branches and these are in a week only four of them survived the small uh, roots which I did not throw I just put it in there now this one will become a good plant later thanks for watching my videos bye bye